And I love these white pumpkins. These are so cute. Hey, sweetie. Huh? Um, I know I'm no Tyson. I'm far from Tyson Gardner, but do you think I could help set up some stuff? Uh, I have Tyson coming over any, actually. Hello and good morning, everyone. It's a school day for Hazy. Mommy, can you give me some money? Oh, you want some money in your wallet before school? Yeah. I can give you a couple of coins. Do you want some coins? Yeah. Let me show you how you open these things. You take the two little things like that, whoops, and then you pinch them. I'll get you some coinies. Okay. Can you get up and show everyone your cute outfit? You got this from Leslie last night. Mm -hmm. What do you tell Leslie? Thank you, Leslie. I don't know what you're doing. Let's put your shoes on, goofball. <laughs> I got Hazy some coinies. Coinies. Coinies? Yeah. We're gonna put them in here, and then you're gonna close it. Oops, you gotta get your finger out, sorry. And then we're gonna snap. All right, now you can take your wallet to school. You wanna take your wallet? Yeah. And can I bring it in school? You just can't play with it in school or else your teacher will be mad because we can't play with toys. Okay, so we're getting kids out of the house. I got the boys off. Riva doesn't have swim the rest of this week, so he got up at normal time today. I may have slipped in a little later than I could, so I was kind of hustling them out of the house. Guys, it's gonna be a great day because, a couple of things, we're going to transform this space into fall. And then another big thing that's happening, we are clearing up this room. We have plans to paint the upstairs toy room and put the TV up there. We have, I don't know if you guys remember, but we just got a new TV on Black Friday. Oh, that was a funny vlog. I should have Brandon link that for you. That was funny. I had no intention to buy a TV and I actually bought a TV. We bought a new TV, so we put the old TV. We're like, well, let's not get rid of it. Let's utilize it in another room. We threw it up in the toy room. It's been leaning against the wall for a really long time. Let's throw this awesome couch upstairs. It just has a few ugly places and put the TV up there. It can be like a nook area for the kids where they can read or they can watch a show, whatever they want to do. So we're kind of waiting on paint, but I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to go ahead and just put the furniture up there and paint later. We have a couple of ideas coming up, guys, of stuff we want to do to the house so make sure you stay tuned for that we're literally in the works right now working on a few things for the house doing some upgrades i'm gonna get miss hazel off to school and i'm gonna go run a few errands brexton needs school shoes church shoes i have to run to fedex we're gonna get a couple things done what book are you reading before school which one is it can you show me this oh charlie is broken is that the book you're reading yeah because he has a broken arm like you huh mm -hmm. okay let's go are bye sweetheart so say thank you thanks for helping her you're out welcome. bye hazy trying to find some little accent pieces for the house. We might be doing some more stuff, I've told you guys, so stay tuned. I think I have found myself a pair of shoes and Brexy some shoes. I did a little bit of shopping, got Brex and some new school shoes. I'll have to see if they fit though. And then I'm getting Brex right now. We'll get hazy and I'm excited to go home and decorate for fall. There's my Brexy. He's talking to his friends. Look how cute he is. Hi, stud. Thank you. Hi, bud. How was school? Good. Sit down and buckle, okay? Okay. It was reading buddy day. Did you read with crew? Yeah. What did he read to you? We read kind of all the books. You did? Oh, that's so cute. So in Brexton school, they have reading buddy day where the class above them or a couple classes above them will come and read to their class and just get them familiar with reading. He has the older class come in. Well, the class that comes in is crew's class. And so they said, if you have a sibling in the class, you guys can read together. So Kruby gets to read to Brex. That like makes me so excited. Kind of makes me want to cry. How cute is that? Brex, that's so special for you today. That's cool. And guess what? I bought you new school shoes. Yay. Hazy's home from school. How was it? Good. Was it fun? Yeah. Guys, let's have lunch right now, okay? And then guess what? We're gonna decorate for fall. All of our fall stuff is downstairs. Gotta bring all of that up. So I've brought up most of my fall stuff. I have a few more bins downstairs, but I feel like those are more Halloween bins. And I'm wanting to go more fall than Halloween right now. I'm probably wanting to wait like maybe another month and do Halloween at the beginning of October. I just want fall, fall leaves, fall colors, fall anything. Not necessarily like witches and stuff like that. And bats. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of this stuff and put it out and see what I've got and start the decorating from there. I feel like that's one of the best things to do whenever you're about to decorate. Pull everything out, see what you've got, see what you wanna use, what you wanna save for later. Let's see what we've got. All right, that feels a little bit more Halloween to me. Ha ha, I found the fall one. I'm excited. We've got us some fall leaves. Ooh, do you guys remember these pumpkins that I got last year at Rodworks? So cute. Let's see what we have. Oh, I love 
love that. It's kind of fallish. Thankful that's a little bit more Thanksgiving-y, but I'll probably use it. These cute little pumpkins. And look at these rust-colored pumpkins that I got. You guys, I've forgotten what I've got. Look how cute these are. It's fun to go through your stuff. This is part of the word fall that I made a couple of years ago. And it's just kind of fun to go through the stuff and see what you made a few years ago that you just absolutely loved. And now you might not love as much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, look how cute those acorns are, huh, Hazy? Yeah. Do you like? They're called acorns. Acorns, right? Yeah. These acorns are super spiky, Mama. Good job using your arm. Also, I forgot about these cute little pumpkins and that little welcome sign that we got. There's lots of cute stuff in here that I forgot about. Oh, and all the acorns. Thank you. You guys a huge leaf. I know it's a fall leaf, huh? That is the A, these letters that say fall. That is what I use as the A. Oh, good job, Hazy. Thanks, I think you're gonna break that. That looks a little bit more Halloween, but this one, uh, apparently I saved this from last year. We can probably decorate this, but it might not taste very fresh. But look, oh my gosh, I use these for Thanksgiving as place cards. These might have been a few extra. This cute fall sign, candles. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been waiting for this. Do you guys all remember what this was? Do you guys remember the collab we did last year with Tyson on your four fall essentials to decorating? Poopery! Okay, it's not called poopery, it's called potpourri, but every time I look at it, I think of poopery. I've got some fun stuff in here, and I love these white pumpkins. These are so cute. Hey, sweetie. Huh? Um, I know I'm no Tyson. I'm far from Tyson Gardner, but do you think I could help set up some stuff? Uh, I have Tyson coming over, any actually. Just kidding, I don't have Tyson coming over. You mean I can help decorate for fall? Yay, Daddy! All of his dreams are coming true. Yay. Careful, you're right by the stairs, I don't want him to fall. <laughs> I had to take a little break, I had to get Hazy down for a nap. Dad and Brexton left to go get the boys from school, so I am by myself. I'm all alone, you guys. No one's here but me. So we're gonna get started. So the very first thing I wanna tackle is this mantle. So you guys might remember a little bit of what we did last year. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these blue candles, do something else with them. And what I wanna add to them are my cute little velvet pumpkins from Rodworks. I absolutely love these and I've been looking forward to them all year. So I'm thinking, I already have the cream colored candle. I think I'm gonna throw this little guy right there and put this one at the bottom right by it. I think last year I did both pumpkins on top, but I kind of like that cream colored candle. So I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I think I want to turn this. There we go. That's cute. That's cute. One of my favorite things, Tyson always says to, you know, do the centerpiece of your room. And I feel like that is my fireplace a little bit. So I wanted to put this there, but I feel like it's a little too short. So I took a jewelry box and put it there. And hopefully this doesn't cover up too much of our feet. But then also, you can't see the jewelry box behind it. So I hope that that looks okay. And guys, I'm going to order a new one with our new family pictures. So that should be coming soon. See, I got to keep taking from the pile here. I know I want this for the front door, that for the front door. I feel like I need to do something here. I know I want to put this on there with some potpourri. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to add some. The fun part about this is there's cute little cinnamon sticks. There's little pumpkins. We're just going to add it all in there. Leaves. I want that pumpkin showing. It's kind of cute and fallish. So I have some more of this potpourri. You guys, it is so cute. And I want to put it in here, but I think that this thing is too big for how little potpourri I have since I shared some of it with that other container. So I think I'm going to try and fill this and see if that will take up as much space as I'm hoping. <laughs> You guys, I wanna show you this and show you what I've done. So you see, I have a glass cup in there. That's the side. So this will be the front. No one will even be able to see that I've used a ton of the space with a glass cup because it's clear. So I kind of wanted to decorate. I have dishes that need to be done, sorry. This area that I kind of wanted to bring fall into. So I'll stick that there. Then see, I'm gonna take out stuff like this bright, colorful thing, this cute little bird. We're done with bright colors for a little while. Take out these guys. I might take out the greenery. Maybe take out at least one and we'll put some Something fall in its place. Brought in a few, just like seriously, few little pieces. I got this at Target in their little tiny dollar section. I got this for three dollars, and that will go cute. Or I could replace that one. I think what I'm gonna do is leave this cute colored candle there, and I think I'm gonna throw in this orangey kind of colored candle there. Throw in an acorn, and then I think I might throw in more acorns. I have more acorns, so I'll probably go grab a few more of those. See how it just like transform it to look a little bit fallish.
gives it a little bit of a fall flare. I could even throw in some leaves in it. That'd be really cute too. So one of my favorite things to decorate is probably this thing. I never decorate the same things the same twice. So they're always decorated differently like every single time. I like to just do different things and I get in the mood for different things. This time I was thinking of using this. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Again, this is one of those Target things that I got for five bucks. Never actually baked in it, but it's really cute. So I was thinking of putting this probably, let's try it up here. I think that looks really cute up there. And then I have these glass pumpkins I got for like years ago from Costco. Just to kind of maybe we should put him on the inside. And then maybe a little short guy on the outside. I think that's cute. And then I want to use this gather sign that my friend made for me last year. Put it right here. It will fit. There we go. Just put it in a little easel. And I'm gonna throw one more glass pumpkin right there. And I'll probably go grab another pumpkin I have. All right, so I switched it all up a little bit. I decided to throw the pumpkin sign down here. Put that there. You guys, I need to step up my my fall game a little bit. I need some more fall decorations. Feel like I don't have that much. I've gotta like figure this out. I have a few pieces left, but I don't have a ton of spaces to hang stuff up on the wall. So I'm gonna find little spots for these. Ooh, let's do this right now. We need to take off this. Oh, so got my fall wreath, my beautiful mums, and then I put out my fall sign. You guys, I think it's so cute. This wreath is probably one of my favorite fall things I have. So I think by decorating, it's only made me a little frustrated. How sad is that? <laughs> I think I need a few more fall things because some of the stuff that I have is like so old. It just looks like really old. And so I've got a few things set up. I altered a few things. You know, I like do stuff and then I'll do it again and then I do it again. But I added a cute little pumpkin over here. I just need more like little pumpkin city things. So I have that there. That is complete, which I actually really love this. I added the potpourri in a pumpkin. Put the pumpkin there, changed that a little bit. Then over here, I added all of the pumpkins to that. I just realized like, I just need a few more things. I don't think anything big, anything like huge statement, but I kind of want something fun and pumpkin to put on the center of the table. And I just feel like I need some few things. So I'll probably be going to Hobby Lobby in a couple of days, possibly tomorrow. That might be an idea. So let's go fall shopping guys. And this is all finished with my fall potpourri. And I added in all of that. That's gonna conclude today's decorating. I feel like it has a long ways to go as it does with like every single time you do something. Also, I feel like since last year, we've added and changed a, a couple of things to our house. So it just looks just a little bit different. This is something I'm going to be continuing to work on. I am going to take a break here for a minute and enjoy our new couch. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, dad. All right guys, so mom is at home decorating for fall. I'm here in the carpool line picking up the kids from school. One of my favorite things to do, as you guys know, chilling with my Brex. We've got something really epic coming up. And when I say epic, you've kind of got to have the mentality of a five-year-old to think it's epic, which as you guys know, I'm a big kid at heart. But I finally got that GoPro car back. You guys saw the fun little edit we did while we took this to the planetarium and ran it through some of the exhibits. I always wanted to do more with it. I did that sick volcano jump into a waterfall at the beach. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but in the kid's mind, that's exactly what we did. And then the GoPro got swept away into the ocean, never seen again, losing the footage, breaking my heart forever. So we've got another idea and it involves those giant boxes from our couch. It might involve me getting on the roof of our house. And there's a few other things involved, but one of the main things is going to be a lot more track. So Rex and I, before, before we came here, before we picked up the boys, we ran and got some more track. Here's the only problem. This is the only box they had. We need about 10 of these boxes. That may not be included in today's vlog, but that is in an upcoming vlog. Comment down below what you want to see us try and do with the GoPro car, the Hot Wheels car, and like 100 feet of track. <laughs> I've got some rad ideas. Is that something you guys want to see? I think it's a fun activity with me and the kids. Could be some sick video. So stay tuned. That will be coming soon. Gonna pick up the kids from school, go back home and see how amazing it looks for mom's fall decorating. <laughs> people how he does this he chases me and then jumps up on my leg when I walk away <laughs> So uh, last time you saw me, I was sitting up and taking a rest from decorating, and here we are. The kids are in bed. Days Today over. Today got away from us. First of all, can we address the shirts? Smash that like button. This mama runs on love and diet, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> They're such. Which I just really gifts. finished a diet, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and you better smash that like button. We love you. We love fall. We love mom's decorating for fall. And I think that, I don't know. Are you gonna go get some more pieces? I think tomorrow or? I'm gonna go get a few pieces because she felt like some of the stuff was a little outdated. So it's fun to kind of like bring things up to date. And then also just there's a lot of areas that don't have I anything. I also just feel like each year, some of you might do this also. You just kind of like pick up a few 
few pieces each year. Next year, I'll probably get a few more pieces. That's just how it goes. But it's fall here at the Bingham household, officially underway. I have already started thinking about Christmas, actually. Stop it. Slow the down. only thing I thought Enjoy is, where fall. is the tree gonna go? The couch is so huge. We have an idea, though. I'm gonna have to remove a piece it's of a the legit couch. legit problem. You guys, um, we love you. Thank you for supporting our family. I get messages all the time about Hazy. Hope she's doing well. Bryler's such a great swimmer. Crew's such a great motocross rider. Brexton is so good at soccer and his glasses are so cute. Like, you guys are just awesome. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs> it's a little bit sad, but tomorrow is supposed to be Hazy's first day of dance. Yeah, it kind of Not gonna get to do that, but the gardeners are, so go watch their vlog. It should be fun. Our vlogger besties are gonna be going to dance. So their four quadruplets are gonna be her there. Daughter, so they're all gonna be there. We just won't be. <laughs> we just won't be. As soon as Hazy can get back in action, we'll get her back in there. You better believe it. We love you. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for making us a part of your lives every day. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.